something strange about this side of the river at this time in the afternoon. At this time in my life, or maybe it's my career, I don't know to be honest, I'm not quite sure how to define it. The afternoon is spreading itself across the Thames and there's a, a glint on that bridge. <laughs> the shine on that tower and there's so much light which is nice it's something to focus on which doesn't include hello and welcome we're delighted to see you you've done so well to get to the stage and don't be alarmed by how many assessors are here they want you to do well we want you to do well you want to do well do you want to do well you need to do well you cannot be unwell please do not be unwell but if you feel unwell at any point just give us a shout and we'll stare and we'll panic and we'll put a tiny little asterisk next to your name on the register so that we know you're unlikely to be able to commit to this part-time role paid at £19,000 per annum pro rata and please remember you're responsible for your own tax but the light's very nice on that bridge and that tower and on the busy suits of people with their paper bags filled with sandwiches and crisps and granola that's been soaked overnight with honey and freshly grated apple apparently Busy people with places to be, things to administrate, leaving dues to celebrate. I would find a leaving dues. Oh, mine would be sick. Everyone would be invited. Tina in HR, Toby in marketing, and all the faces in catering and security that Tina and Toby nod and smile at with every really knowing. But I'll make sure I know everyone's names. We'll start on the south bank, then we'll tap and go, and we'll find ourselves in the Amsham Arms, and we'll miss the last train home, but it'll be fucking worth it. <laughs> Is it bad to want a job just so you can have a leaving do though? Yeah, it seems like the principles might be a bit murky. Be it like the river today, the jazz pair, it's looking proper dirty. If I close my eyes, the grimy splashes take me away. And I'm having lunch by the hogs mill down from the steps of the rose. The summer sun is strong and stifling and I know the homemade egg mayo is absolutely not the one for these given circumstances. 30 minutes for lunch is really not enough, especially when you've been playing Buzzy Bees for three hours straight with three groups of very small children, the minority of whom didn't enjoy my imitation of a Buzzy Bee and made it very obvious. <laughs> if I keep my eyes closed, the grime splashes take me to Richard Park and I'm on a bike with my dad up ahead in very fancy light crap. And I remember how I begged in tantrum because I just couldn't be asked to go for a stupid bike ride to stupid Richmond Park when cycling is clearly for weirdos. It's okay, Dad, you're old and grey and my lycra, which is weird, by the way. And I don't want to go, Mum. Please, can you tell him? But I go. And the grimy splashes on the side of the river fill me with the memories of self and that feeling of love, which is also hard to define. Maybe it's looking back at the tears and the tantrums on, on a bike ride to Richmond Park and knowing in my core, in my messy, bloody, splouchy, splashy middle of me that it was because I was loved that I could cry with the knowledge that I'd continued to be loved unconditionally. Oh, it's different to the T's and C's in that place. Where the city is drafted and planned and debated and legislated and processed and delivered and launched and capitalised and where I could end up if I only remembered what I wrote in my journal on the train in. <sighs> Tell us about a time when you've had to overcome adversity. Tell us about a time when you've had to work independently to achieve something while also collaborating with others. It's all so fucking big and scary and complex and I know they say that knowledge is power but I swear the more knowledge I have the more powerless I feel. I don't think I have the answers they're looking for. I don't think the job description is aimed at me, someone who's five six but feels six one and can't get out of bed without something important to do in the mornings. What? Should I tell them the reason I always have toothpaste on my top is because I dance when I brush my teeth in the mornings? That I've never seen ET and I don't want to because quite frankly it sounds a bit naff. That I find morning people really annoying. Tell us about a time when you've had to overcome adversity. Okay, I'll answer in a riddle of numbers. It's 0 to 100 hours and the Jubilee's done, so it's either the 57, the 85, or the 1 through 1 home. And Jesus H. Christ, why is getting to New Malden feel like trekking to Newcastle? Tell us about a time when you've had to work independently to achieve something while also collaborating with others. Well, it's funny you should ask. If you knew me at 18, 
You would have known I worked extremely effectively both as an individual and as part of the team. Depending on the DJ, contact Prism and Kingston for a reference. Tell us something interesting about you. Okay, my name is...